just one county over. A tri-state hospital is reporting a dramatic decrease in COVID-19 influenza and RSV cases after it experienced a large surge in December. WGEM's Dylan Smith is back from McDonough County where he spoke with doctors. Dylan, what are they saying? Well, Charity, health professionals at McDonough District Hospital say even though area illness numbers and even statewide numbers are on the decline, they still expect another surge when it starts to warm up for good. In the month of December, McDonough County saw more than 100 positive COVID-19 cases. As for flu and RSV, the numbers combined for more than 600 cases. But McDonough District Hospital's Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Edwin Card, says that's no more. Our influenza tests... Uh, went from over 500 down to only about 70. Uh, and COVID also has come down dramatically, though it remains the highest of the three right now. Karn says the illness spike concerned residents and forced a backlog in the hospital's emergency room for those only seeking a test. And while numbers are just a fraction of what they were, Card and other health professionals say now's not the time to let your guard down. The reason that numbers are trending downward is because we've been doing certain things to sort of control the um, spread of viral illness during this viral illness season. McDonough County Health Department Public Information Officer Nikki Duffy says it's the basics that can keep you and others healthy. Stay home when you're sick, obviously. Uh, if you are experiencing symptoms like a cough or sneezing or a runny nose or sore throat, wear a mask because that will help prevent you from spreading it to others if you do need to go out. Basic tips that Card says are commonly ignored and need to become routine. COVID's going to be with us forever. It's just a matter of of our current state and it's going to be that way forever. Alleviate the emergency room backlog. Back in December, McDonough District Hospital opened a drive through testing site, which is still open seven days a week. Dylan Smith, WGEM News. Thanks, Dylan. The drive through is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. to noon.